I was listening to uh, Towns Van Zant, and he was in a documentary um, where they had gone down with some other people down to um, the south, and they, they were just running around playing shows and meeting local people, and they show this great scene of Towns Van Zant playing this song, and he's sitting down in this room, and you see him in the background, this guy, and the song is about whiskey, you know, whiskey being his only friend, and all of a sudden, you see the guy in the back, he's like, he's rocking, he's connecting to the song, and then he just, he just starts sobbing, he starts crying, and like, and it was not just like, it wasn't like a grown man crying, it's like, it was like, an, like what happens when anyone who's much older than us, like our grandparents cry, they like, they sob, and it's, you know, it's somewhere, it comes from somewhere deep, you know, it's something they've thought a lot about, whether it's regrets, or, but I was really attached to, his reaction and his way of dealing with this pain and sorrow that wasn't there in the room. It was something from his past that was making him feel this way. And then what I loved about it was that as he's doing this, Towns Van Zant's girlfriend, she leans out and she puts her hand on his hands, like just comforting him. And, you know, I think that's the whole thing that this piece is really about, you know. I mean, it is about sorrow, but it's also about the whole the whole cycle of it, it's, there's a beginning to it and then there's an end to it and at the end of it there's comfort. The depths of your sorrow are equal to the heights of your joy and you can only experience great joy by having really low moments of sorrow. But I wanted to be able to have this space between, you know, both of these moments where, you know, he's, he's, he's obviously feeling that pain and then, then, then comes next this, this different scene. So keeping them separate was just more a, um, another way of just creating atmosphere between these two emotions. Both oil paintings, so uh, I used a really turpentine, washed down, really dirty, nasty um, a paint effect, and at the very end I built up these really pure pigments um, just for accents and like almost like ornamentation so that your eyes drawn to these little moments in the painting, like, you know, I just, I love, I just loved his cheek and I love the way that, that you can just feel that sorrow and that tear about to break out of his eye. So again, I just made these little moments, little individual spots that I wanted the viewer to, to find and hopefully spend more attention looking at.